Hi, this is a short little video on a how-to for your WKO4, and it is going to describe the simple process of just making a little grid line. So let's make a grid line, and I'll show you how to do it inside a horizontal cycling workout chart right here. So I've gone ahead and opened up a workout here on this day. I'm looking at the horizontal pack, and I've got my other ones down here. So. I'm just going to move this down here, grip it and move it down a little bit, give you a little bit of, of more real estate here. I'm going to hit the Option and Command button and then the left arrow key to get rid of that left hand explorer right there as well. So doing a few little tricks here to give me a little more real estate. Um, and I want to put a grid line at his FTP. This athlete's FTP is right at 400 watts, so uh, very talented cyclist. We're going to click on the down arrow on the horizontal cycling pack and click the configure button. In the configure, I'm going to click on the plus, all right, and so I'm going to add a data series in here, and I'm just going to type in here grid line 400 watts, all right, so just like that. And all we need to do in our expression is type in the number 400. Now, under the y axis, here's the trick, right? So they put the line there at 400, but we want it up in this one. All right, so all we need to do is put a capital W there, and then we need to choose time right here, and time is this one right here, eight hours, minutes, seconds, separated by the colon. Just put it in right there, and then all of a sudden, voila, you see it in the background, it plops that grid line right in at 400 watts where I wanted it. So very simple, easy way to do it. You can add in another grid line if you'd like. Uh, again, it's just click that plus button, do we want one there at 360 uh, grid line? All right, we'll put one at grid line 360. Type in the number 360 right here. It's going to be the y axis is going to be a capital W for watts, and boom, there is that line. Make it thicker if you like to. Click the thicker button. Make it a dot if you want to make it dots. Make it a dash if you'd like to make it dashes. However you want to customize that, you can just stick it right in there. So that's how you make a grid line. I hope this is a great little video for you and uh, gives you a quick insight into the simple way to make a grid line. Thanks a lot.